Hey guys, Kakarot197 again, this time with a short update video. And that is that from now on, video quality is going to be significantly better. Thanks to this thing, and especially thanks to everyone. In the past few months, I've been able to get some really good sponsorships. The Patreon supporters have been a giant help. And like I said before, everyone watching have made this possible the panasonic dcgh5l which is a really amazing camera 4k 60 frames per second despite still being considered a budget camera by all the reviews that i found and honestly if this thing is considered a budget camera i really wonder what they would consider this thing my sony handycam which is what i've been using up until now um, and it would probably consider this thing a toy. So as you've probably noticed in the past few months I've been doing a lot to try to improve the quality of the channel in general. My audio quality has gotten better, um, my review format has changed quite a bit and the one thing that I just found myself consistently annoyed with was the video quality. Despite this thing being pretty good for the price, it, it just needed upgrading. And after a lot of research, this was just the one thing that kept coming back. It had everything I wanted and the footage from this thing just looks absolutely amazing. And what you're looking at right now is just the straight up factory settings and it already looks amazing. I did try changing some settings. I looked up some tutorials online, but because this is my first professional camera, I just ended up making the video look worse instead of better. So yeah, it's gonna be a learning journey for me. But yeah, the important thing is the quality is going to be much better. Also, my lighting setup is the same as I was using with this camera, but it looks so much better with this camera. And I am really so happy about that. Now, um, even though I am now using this new camera, there will still be a few videos using the old camera. For starters, there are a few unboxings that I simply cannot redo because I already built the model kits. That is the Master Grade Jim Cannon White Dingo version and the Master Grade Full Armor Double Zeta Gundam. Not the version Katoki, the old one. I bought that one before they announced the version Katoki. I regret it, but I decided, you know what? I'm going to build it and I want to see how it holds up to the version Katoki. I'll try to get a review out before the version Katoki is released. And while I was building it, I just kind of got bored building it and I just wanted to build something else. And that probably says a lot about how well that thing held up. And then there's also two reviews that I kind of kept as emergency reviews. And that is the old Jim Command ground type, not the Hyger Tunable Sentry, the old no grade version. And then also the Hyger Tunable Sentry Rig Diaz Char, well, not Char, Quattro colors. So the idea with those reviews was basically if I get sick, if an emergency comes up, I can just quickly throw them together and have a review for you guys so that there's still something for you to watch. And I will try to make some new emergency reviews with the new camera, but then there's still the question, what am I going to do with that footage that already half of those reviews? So I think the best thing to do is to have them as an extra video in a week where I have like no unboxing for a review. So just as some nice extra content. So that's all for this short update video. And just because I now had a major upgrade to my camera quality, doesn't mean that I won't be looking out for more upgrades I can do to the channel. So definitely look forward to more and better videos. Again, a big thank you to absolutely everyone making this possible and just especially the Patreon supporters. I hope all of you watching have a great day and I'll see you all next time with better quality.